there have been several visits from the Tibetan parliament in the past. There was one in December, but uh, with me is the deputy speaker of the Tibetan parliament in exile. She's here and uh, had an important engagement uh, in Delhi. Let's speak to her, ma'am. Welcome to Vion. It's an honor to speak to you. Uh, my first question to you is what brings you here in Delhi? Uh, hi, Tashi Delek and Namaskar to all the viewers of uh, Vion. Uh, we are here because uh, Tibet is in such a uh, critical situation under occupation of China. And so uh, the Tibetans outside free world, we are the voice for the voiceless. Therefore, we are doing our share of job for our brothers and sisters in Tibet. Mm -hmm. uh, in Delhi, uh, what were the engagements like? who all you met here in Delhi, uh, whether it's uh, the representatives from the Indian government or from any other government, if you can give us in details about your engagements in Delhi. Uh, so uh, when we come to Delhi, when the Indian parliament is uh, on, uh, our more, uh, the most important mission is to reach out to the new parliamentarians who are new faces in the parliament. Uh, to appraise them about the critical human rights situation inside Tibet, one thing. And the second is uh, the culture and religion in Tibet is getting ex extinct in its birthplace. Uh, second thing is uh, for to have a stable uh, and a peaceful border between India and uh, China, uh, resumption of talks with the Chinese counterpart, with the His Holiness representative is uh, prime important. And that's one point. And the fourth one is uh, the environment mental uh, situation inside uh, the Tibet plateau. So uh, the world is crying about the, the, the climate change unless you fix the roof of the world, uh, there's no going to be complete fixing of the environment. So world need to give its fair share of importance to the uh, Tibet plateau. And we urge the UN uh, framework convention on climate change to have a scientific research team uh, being recruited to make sure what's happening in Tibet plateau is impacting the uh, global climate change as such so that we can have a research proof for the Chinese counterpart to convince them that they need to fix the uh, Tibet plateau environmental crisis at its earliest. Mm -hmm. uh, but you m met any Indian MPs because the last delegation in December had met the Indian MPs, um, perhaps any foreign uh, uh, delegations, envoys, NGOs here in Delhi, if you can talk about the people who you met in Delhi during your engagements. Okay, so, uh, since uh, 4th of April, we started our mission, and till today, we, will, we were able to meet like uh, uh, 35 uh, Indian parliamentarians uh, from the national four uh, big parties of uh, Bharatiya Janda Dal, uh, International Congress, uh, AAP, and uh, was another one. Uh, a National People's Party, and from the regional uh, political parties, almost all the northeastern uh, parliamentarians we met, and uh, we had a talk in detail about the uh, Brahmaputra River, depletion of Brahmaputra River, damming of Bar Brahmaputra River, and how the lives in the south uh, eastern uh, side of uh, India is getting impacted uh, because of the uh, the policy, wrong policy of China. So uh, we met a number of Indian parliamentarians who are very supportive and vocal about the human rights crisis uh, and uh, about the environmental uh, destruction that's been happening on the uh, uh, Tibet plateau. And coming on to the uh, envoys, we met uh, the Taiwan, His Excellency, the ambassador, and uh, we had a, a great exchange of views on how best we can 
have the exchange of students, how best we can make the uh, Taiwanese people uh, interact with the, Indian, uh, with the Tibetan people so that people-to-people -people relationship is being built and the friendship is flourished. Mm -hmm. uh, you met uh, MPs from the ruling uh, BJP party as well he during your uh, engagement? Yes, yes, we met uh, some of the ruling uh, from the part of this one. Oh, I'm not getting the names. Yes, we have met from the uh, Janda Party. I'm sorry, I'm ca not getting it uh, without my specs. Okay, from the BJP, we met like Sri Naresh Bansalji. Uh, Shri Chandrasekhar Sahu, no, uh, from, yeah, uh, Mitesh Patelji, Lok Sabha, uh, Shri Pradhan uh, Barua, BJP, and Shri uh, Kiran Rijiju as the convener of Northeastern uh, Parliamentarians uh, uh, at the Parliament Annex. So these are some of the uh, names. And then from the Northeastern side, we have met a number of BJP. Uh, members like uh, Ramesh, Ramesh War Thali, uh, Dr. Raj Kumar Ranjan Singh, uh, Shri uh, Bhuvaneshwar uh, Kalitha, uh, Shri uh, Kamakya Prasad Tasa, and uh, Rajya Sabha. Uh, these are all Rajya Sabhas. And from BJP, we have Shri Horan Singh Bey, uh, Shri uh, Tapan Kumar Gogoi, uh, Shrimati Queen uh, Oja, uh, Shri Rajdeep Roy, and so like we have a number of uh, people who were very supportive and who were very uh, receptive of what we were trying to convey to them. That mm -hmm. was a very encouraging interaction with them. Mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am, your visit comes at a time when we have seen Delhi being very busy and also the visit of the Chinese Foreign Minister, just days after Chinese Foreign Minister's visit, you are here in Delhi engaging with Taiwanese envoy, with the Indian MPs. Uh, how do you see this as, because in last time we saw the Chinese embassy reacting in a very strong way when the, the previous delegation had come. Uh, the importance of India at the uh, international uh, political arena is uh, being seen, see, for uh, within a very short of time, you have seen a lot of uh, international foreign ministers coming and visiting. Uh, though the Chinese counterpart was just kind of a drama to show uh, that you can do business, but we can talk about the border later on. When there is no security peace uh, at the border area, how can India manage to do business with uh, China? That's a big issue. So. Uh, I think the world has let loose China so uh, uh, freely that uh, so it's like uh, we have uh, we have spoiled the uh, China to bully anyone who does uh, anything uh, against their will. So uh, whatever China dictates. The sovereign states succumb to it. That's why they do dictate all the time. Mm -hmm. Even the sovereign uh, parliamentarians are being dictated whom to meet, whom they cannot meet. But when we talk about human rights violation, it's all about internal matter. Mm -hmm. You are intruding into the domestic affairs of Chinese. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are like uh, uh, two different things. How can you do this? So we need to make China accountable for what wrong they are doing uh, in Tibet, not only in Tibet, in Uyghur, in Hong Kong, in Taiwan. So we all are coming together at one platform whereby we are going to raise our voice against the Chinese atrocities, against the Chinese uh, uh, invasion of uh, uh, Taiwan's defense airspace. That was kind of intimidation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we talked about one, they dictate about the one China policy, but uh, uh, how can you say, when China dictates one China policy, why can't India and other nations say that uh, you too remember that Arunachal, they, Arunachal is inalienable part of India? Mm -hmm. We should also put conditions to them. 
and uh, to the far west where the people and the government even doesn't know the history of Tibet, they are ready to peace with China to uh, agree to one China policy. So when you don't know the history of uh, Tibet, how can you agree to such dictates of China? That's a big question on the international arena. Mm -hmm. So we are questioning their credibility towards human rights. Mm -hmm. When there was Holocaust in uh, Germany about the Nazis, uh, people told that en enough is enough. But mm -hmm. what's happening in uh, Tibet, what's happening in Uyghur, what is happening in Hong Kong and Taiwan are similar violation of human rights. People are suffering. Mm -hmm. uh, being Tibetan is a criminal. Being uh, able to talk about the conservation of the environment in Tibet has been uh, on a different uh, pretext put into jail. China tried to show to the world that we are leader in the climate uh, uh, change fixing, but in their own home in Tibet, when the uh, Tibetan nomads talk on the conservation of Tibetan environment, you land up in jail. Mm -hmm. So these are like double standard of China. Mm -hmm. So uh, the world must look at China with pinch of distrust and doubt so that you know the reality of China because China will tell you what, he, what they want you to hear. Mm -hmm. China will show you what they want you to see. Mm -hmm. But the ground reality is totally different. It is not only Tibetans, but even the Chinese people are suffering under the communist regime. So if China has to open up and uh, change, it will explode from within. Mm -hmm. Because where there is uh, oppression, there is bound to be revolt. And that molten lava will come from within China itself and show to the world that people can make and bring this change. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ma'am, you uh, have engaged with the Indian parliamentarians, uh, with the Taiwanese envoys. More such engagements planned by the Tibetan side, whether it's by the uh, parliament or by the, the president in exile. Are you going to reach out to any other foreign countries as well, US, UK, other countries? Is this uh, something on the anvil? Uh, of course, we are looking to uh, meet the ambassadors where the, the pockets of Tibetans are residing over there because we have to thank them for taking Tibetans over there. That has really helped the Tibetans to improve their financial conditions, to uh, have uh, modern education to our Tibetan uh, youths, and to open up the Tibetan youth to the world arena, how to uh, uh, advocate for Tibet. Wherever you are, uh, be it America, Canada, Japan, or uh, Europe, France, or Germany, Germany, Tibetan people are voice of uh, the Tibetan people inside Tibet. So uh, the presence of Tibetans everywhere is a force for the uh, Tibet issue. Therefore, uh, we are looking forward, though we are yet to get some of the appointments, but we will look forward to have more such engagements with the ambassadors of different countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama, final question to you is, uh, uh, any plans to uh, meet or reach out to the Indian Prime Minister because we saw the birthday greetings by the Lai Lama to Prime Minister, Prime Minister also reciprocating, uh, wishing him birthday greetings as well. Any plans by the Tibetan government in exile, by the parliament to reach out to the Prime Minister? Of course, we dream to meet the uh, uh, Lok Sabha uh, speaker also and we dream to meet the Environment Minister uh, Bhupendra Yadavji because we have passed a resolution on critical environment situation inside Tibet and since uh, environment is non-political we hope that uh, uh, it will be looked at from that perspective. And of course, we dream to meet uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji, because uh, at this point of time, he was so busy with the foreign dignitaries, with, uh, we dare not uh, approach and uh, put up our request for an appointment. But, but in future, we dream to uh, uh, meet uh, Narendra Modi ji and have the narrative of Tibetan changed, because uh, Tibet being a sovereign state for 2,000 years, uh, India and the British Raj were the witness to it. So uh, it's o illegally occupied, and so to have a narrative change, India need to change the uh, Tibet policy. So uh, we need to change this into like occupied nation, Tibet, so that uh, 
Uh, on the basis of this, we are asking for genuine autonomy. Uh, we are ready to stay with the Chinese counterpart, provided they give us meaningful autonomy to keep our identity and cultural heritage intact mm -hmm. to practice in our own land. Well, thank you so much, ma'am, for speaking to Vion. It was a pleasure speaking to you and getting this extensive idea about how you are reaching out to India and to foreign uh, governments as well. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was my pleasure.